What a day. We are almost midway through the week. You could say we are midway through the week. It's Water Break Wednesday presented by Crown Royal. My name is Drew Doherty, and with us today is linebacker Blake Cashman, one of my favorite dudes to talk with. Blake, good to see you. How you been? I'm, I'm great. Thanks uh, for having me on the show. We're glad to have you on the show. We're going to answer your questions, so send them in. He wants to hear from you. He wants to, to answer the tough stuff. I've already prepped him on uh, what you might throw his way, so fire away. Let's hear it. But um, hey, 0-1-1, one one, looking for that first win of the season in Chicago. What are some of the things you guys got to do as a defense, as a special teams unit, as an offense to, uh, to make that a reality, that first win? I think uh, it's obvious we got to finish, finish games. Mm -hmm. uh, we obviously ran into that problem with the Colts, and you know, we we're up on Denver. Couldn't put that one away. But uh, I think it's uh, really important to play complementary football. Uh, you know, offense needs to be moving the ball, and the defense needs to make stops. And then special teams, you know, create a, a splash play to uh, flip the field or, you know, set, you know, the, the offense up in good field position. So um, create the big play, but um, those three phases uh, all complementing each other. Yeah. You know, as a defense, three touchdowns allowed in two games, it's really, really good stuff. You can't say that too often about really any team in the NFL, but that's what you guys have done. You've gotten to get, get some more action. You're out there. About 17, 18 snaps on defense. What was it like seeing a little bit more defensive action than, than you had seen earlier? I uh, felt great. Um, felt confident being out there. Uh, the coaches and my teammates do a good job at uh, getting everybody prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, but it felt good, you know. Everybody wants to play more snaps and be more involved in the game. So, uh, you know, next man up mentality when your number's called, you got to go out there. You know, you're expected to perform at uh, – the same level as you know any starter would. So um, you know I'm looking forward to the opportunity to you know step up and um, play well. Awesome. A little bit more of that. You'll take it, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, he'll take your questions too, Blake Cashman. You can find him on Twitter at Block A with three Y's. It's a really cool story behind that. Just go see the uh, Key and Peel uh, video on YouTube. But Jordan wants to know best football drip on the team. Who's got it? Like swag, you think on the field, or you think he's just in general, like pregame outfits? What do you think? Well, let's go with that one. How about that? Uh, you know, one way, Trayvon, he's uh, he's got some swag. Trayvon Smith. Yeah, one. he okay. uh, he's 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 got some some sauce, is what I'd like to I say. You know, just, how so? Uh, Describe what's just what's... uh like a flashy flashy shirts and hats and um, everything always complements. Uh, you know, the hat and the shoes will match or, the, you know, the shirt and the shoes will match. Um, so everything, you know, just blends well together. Um, but on the field, you know, I'm, I'm going to give uh, some love to uh, a linebacker, Christian Kirksey. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, you know, he's got good swag and he's got that, that awesome visor with that uh, blue tint. It's, it, that's a tough look. Now, during the preseason, you made a tremendous play on the ball. Uh, had, had a good play on the ball. And what did you think about Kirksey's play on the ball, the interception in Denver the other day? Because I see the big thump from behind by Petrie, and I see Kirksey on the ground, and then everybody's celebrating there's an interception. I'm like, what the heck happened? How'd this happen? Yeah, that's, uh, that was a true takeaway right there, just <laughs> ripping it out of the guy's hands. But, uh, no, that was a uh, perfect middle read technique on uh, Kirko. You know, showed me up a little bit, I guess, since <laughs> I only got a PBU and he got an interception. But that was a uh, – huge play and um you know definitely helped swing the game in our favor uh at that point and and coming out of halftime we were talking about that as as a defense yeah. like we need to um create takeaways and um get the give the our offense more opportunities so um that was a great play and hopefully he continues to make many more of those. Looking good and playing good in that instance for sure. Okay, Christian has this. How is the defense different from what you've seen before? How much have you all grown, you think, since when you got here in the spring? I think, uh, you know, each day we've, uh, you know, little by little we've gotten better. I like to say or have a rule, you know, 1% better every mm -hmm, day. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, can, you definitely can see us, um, you know, the chemistry – is building and it's uh, continuing to get better and um, you know I think guys for the most part know where they they need to be lined up what their assignment and key is but um, we, we're starting to trust each other and uh, play off each other 
um, even better. And uh, that's, you know, allows the defense to play with a lot of confidence uh, and to play fast. And mm -hmm. when you can play with a style like that, uh, you'll make a lot of big plays. Nice. All right. Ian has this one. How cool is Lovey Smith? How cool is Lovey? Uh, he's the man. <laughs> I tell everyone, you know, I haven't even been around him for a full year yet, but he's already one of my favorite coaches. Uh, you know, he's guy brings great energy into the building, and uh, he's just a funny dude. You know, he's he likes to uh, mess around with the guys and practice, and um, you know, keep the mood uh, happy and, and fun. So uh, he's a man, and I enjoy playing for him. Okay, we got one from Rouch, the Happy Grouch, and says, "What is your favorite sport besides football?" That's a great question. Uh, probably would have to say hoops. Uh, once I hit middle school, I started playing just uh, football and basketball. Obviously, being from Minnesota, big hockey fan as well, right, but right. Uh, definitely basketball. I love that sport. Who's your favorite uh, basketball player of all time? Favorite basketball player of all time. He's still my favorite player, still playing since his rookie year, LeBron James. LeBron James. Yes, okay, sir. you're a LeBron guy. Got it. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> I'm an Akeem guy, but that's just because okay. I'm from here. You know, yeah, that's, that's all. It's uh, okay. Favorite city to travel to? Favorite city to and travel I'm take to? It, that's an NF, the NFL city. Favorite NFL, NFL city. city. Yeah. Uh, I would probably say. So far, for my experience, Green Bay, just yeah. because of uh, the history and tradition that's mm -hmm. there. Uh, also, it's close to home. It's close to home. I also think Green Bay is the most unique of all the, the places in the NFL that you go to, because everything else is a big city. Yeah. Every single other place. You, that's it's like a college town almost in the sense it's where you just... the size of Lubbock, Texas, same population. Yeah, you know, it's and, nuts. Yeah. Uh, you, you're driving up, you just see a bunch of homes and you know some, some <laughs> local stores, and then all of a sudden there's just a big stadium right there. Exactly. The and then that's a, that stadium is very unique as well. It's not yeah. like the rest of the ones around. It's, that's a good choice. It's a fun place to go to. It's really cool when it snows there, too. We Texans played a game back there in December in 16 when it snowed. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to wrap things up with G, and G wants to know... What are some of your favorite restaurants in Houston? I feel ashamed answering this since uh, I feel like I haven't eaten at too many <laughs> uh, places. Uh, what type of food do you like? I like all food. You're not too discriminating. I mean, I love sushi. <sighs> the D-line and some of the linebackers, we went out to dinner to a sushi restaurant in... Uh, I think it was like Midtown. Okay. It was early when I first got here. I think it was called like Sakana or something. Like, okay. I don't know. It, it was great. Um, yeah, it's. It, I know it was in Midtown though. Uh, great sushi spot, and uh, and then we went to uh, Linebackers. We had a dinner uh, after OTAs. What was it called like? Uh, 13 maybe okay I think, All right. or, I think James Harden owns it oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but it was a it was a cool little restaurant uh, uh, bar it was uh, good food all yeah. right good stuff well hey because you came on this water break Wednesday you get a nice water bottle so oh, sweet stay hydrated thank you it's important can no, always use a, a good water bottle we can always you can never have too many of those I mean I guess you could but probably not right not down here in Houston you always need water <laughs> Well, Blake, looking forward to this weekend. Thanks so much for the time. Really appreciate you. We appreciate you sending in all these questions for a Water Break Wednesday presented by Crown Royal. Until next time, we'll see you later. Go Texans. Go Texans. Appreciate it.